So the funny part about it is when that became a popular thing for people to say to each other, the suicide rate rocketed in the black community. So for those of you that don't believe words uh, create, that's proof in itself. You know, and we shouldn't tell nobody that. We, we shouldn't tell about it. And I know people say, well, you know, I don't really mean it. I'm just saying, you know, like, what you said was stupid or what you said, you know, now it ain't like that. Okay, well, if you didn't mean that, say what you mean and mean what you say. Yeah, but, you know, one thing that I just thought of was the reason why those phrases and things become so popular because it's a way to discourage you rather than encourage mm -hmm. because we're life givers you know mm -hmm. and words speak the power of life and death so if you're not encouraging somebody and you're saying that it's a common phrases and things that you say mm -hmm. at your mouth mm -hmm. you're speaking death constantly exactly. constantly because because you're you're not even what's the word for it? you're not even examining what comes out of your mouth yeah. throughout the day and this would be a very good exercise just take two hours out of your day and examine what comes out of your mouth. Examine, if you have children, examine what comes out of their mouth because your children are a mirror, the perfect, the best mirror of you because they gonna repeat and do whatever they see. And so when it comes out of their mouth, sometimes it's more noticeable. It's always more noticeable when it's coming from somebody else. I mean, you could do something to hurt somebody's feelings. But when it's done to you, it's way more noticeable. It's a bigger issue. It's a bigger deal. You talk about it all day long, you know, and I'm guilty of that too. So just, just examine what come out of your mouth, what come out of your children's mouth, or even people that you spend a lot of time with. And if you catch yourself saying things that you know are negative, that's something to address and, and not continue to speak that, you know, because we don't want to be speaking death. And whether you believe it or not, we speak the power of life and death in our tongue. What we say, we're either speaking life or we're speaking death. We're speaking something positive or something negative. And what you say does create something. That's why I could walk up to a little child and I could tell a child you will never be nothing. And those words will cause that child to believe that. And the rest of that child's life, they will create situations for them not to succeed. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us had that happen to us. That was spoken to us. Even if it was said while in anger. People said, you'll never be nothing. Now you did this. Or you so fast. Or even for little boys, you so managed. You so bad. You so... Our, our, our whole life, stuff been said to us that shouldn't have been said to us. And then it'll go to your um, subconscious. Mm -hmm. Well, you can say... um. I don't believe what people say about me. Well, you receive it whether you know it or not. Exactly. And it's stored in your um, in yep. your brain. Yep. And it's a proverb that talks about, I think it was saying, you can, you say something, but you say you don't mean it. But that's right. a lie. Right. You know, like saying stuff, saying, oh, I'm just joking. Right. That's a way for you not to have accountability for what, for what you, you say. say. Exactly. And, and that's something we need to keep in check. And this uh, Bible thing, I thought Kardashian said um, if y'all watching, I love y'all, <laughs> but, uh, we love everybody, can't, yeah. can't be haters of nobody, because that, that make us fit into 2 Timothy chapter 3, but I, I saw them say Bible, and at first I didn't get it, I was like, why are they saying that, like, Bible, but what they were saying was, girl, that dress really looks good on you, Bible, and I couldn't believe it, I was like, wow, you know, and I just remember how God talked about blasphemy and everything, and that's, that's something sacred, considering it to be nothing. Treating yeah. something as sacred as if it's not sacred. And a lot of us don't know any better. Know any better but um, God will not let anybody go throughout life and not know any better. Okay.